Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 26th of 2025 is titled A Swan, an Atlas, and Mars. So what do we see here? Well, the first two things we see are a pair of comets, and that is Comet Swan and Comet Atlas that we see here. These are both newly discovered comets, only discovered this year. And in fact, there are always new comets coming in toward the sun from the outer depths of the solar system. So there are comets that will return and come back every certain period of time, we call periodic comets, and there are others that may only come in once or only come in over very long periods of time, things like tens of thousands of years. Now, Comet Swan here is the brighter comet that is centered in this image, and that is a comet that has now past its perihelion, or closest approach to the sun, and is now heading back out into the outer parts of the solar system, away from the sun. So it's made that pass in close to the sun. That's why it has a very long tail from the heat of the sun, vaporizing material on its surface, and then that material being pushed back by the solar wind and radiation pressure from the sun. So it is heading away, and the other comet, Comet Atlas, up above and to the left, much fainter there, is heading in toward the sun. So it's still approaching the sun and will make its perihelion passage in a couple of weeks on October the 8th. That's when it will pass closer to the sun and then turn and start heading back out into the solar system itself. Now, how bright a comet depends becomes depends on a lot of different factors. It will depend on how close it gets to the sun, how close it gets to the earth, and the actual composition and structure of the comet itself. So all of those put together can make for a very bright comet in the sky or a very faint comet. And as of right now, these both need a telescope or at least some kind of aid to be able to see them. Whether they will brighten enough over time is a good question, but it would happen over the next couple of weeks, most likely, uh, for Comet Swan and maybe a little bit longer time period for Comet Atlas here. So we will watch them and see, but we are getting some nice pictures such as the one seen here today. Now, there is one other solar system object present here, and that is the planet Mars, down toward the bottom of the image, and it stands out as the prominent bright red there, and the red color being due to iron oxides in the soil of Mars. So, essentially, it's rusted a little bit, and in fact, iron has combined with oxygen and gives it that ruddy, rusty color that we associate with Mars, and it really does have a distinct red tinge to it when you look at it in the sky. So, here we get to see all three of those solar system objects, Comet Swan, Comet Atlas, as well as the planet Mars in a single image. So that was our picture of the day for September 26th of 2025. It was titled A Swan, An Atlas, and Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.